let's try and understand the concept of God in Sikhism. Though Sikhism is not considered one of the major world religions, but it has a huge following, it is considered as an offshoot of Hinduism, and it was founded by Guru Nanak in the late part of the 15th century in the land of Pakistan and northwestern India called as Punjab, the land of five rivers. And Guru Nanak Sahib, he was born in a Hindu Kshatriya family, that is the warrior caste family. And the word Sikh is derived from the word Fithya, which means a disciple. Therefore, Sikhism is called as a religion of ten gurus. The first and the founder is Guru Nanak Sahib, and the last is Guru Gobind Sahib. And the sacred book of Sikhism is the Guru Granth Sahib, also known as Adi Granth. Every Sikh has to maintain his five Ks. The first K is the Kesh, that is the uncut hair, which all the Gurus kept. The second K is the Kanga, that is the comb, to keep the hair clean. The third K is the Kala, that's a metal or a steel bangle which is used for strength. The fourth K, it is the kirpan or the dagger, which is used for self-defense. And the fifth K is the kacha, or the long underdraws or underwear, which is used for agility. Every Sikh, according to Sikhism, has to maintain his five Ks. And if you ask any Sikh that what is the definition of Almighty God in Sikhism, the best reply he can give you is quote to you the Mool Mantra of Sikhism. That is the fundamental creed of Sikhism, which is there in the first volume of Guru Granth Sahib, first chapter, first verse, known as Japuji. It says that God is only one. He is called as the true, the creator, who is free from fear and hate, the immortal, not begotten, self-existent, great and compassionate. This is the description of Almighty God in the Japuji, which is the Mool Mantra of Sikhism. And Sikhism is strictly a monotheistic religion. And in the unmanifest form, Almighty God in Sikhism is called as Ekomkara. And the manifest form, he is called as Komkara. And there are various attributes given to Almighty God in Sikhism, in the sacred scriptures. He is referred to as Akal, that is eternal. He is called as the Kartar, the creator. He is referred to as Satanama, which is the holy name. He is called as Sahib, which means the Lord. He is called as Parvardigar, which means the cherisher. He is called as Rahim, the merciful. He is called as Kareem, the beneficent. He is also called as Wahe Guru, means one true God. Sikhism, besides being a monotheistic religion, it is against Autar Vada, which means it is against Almighty God taking incarnation, against Almighty God incarnating, known as Autar. And it is also against idol worship. Guru Nanak, he was also influenced by Sant Kabir, and in our school days, we were taught the couplets, the Dohas of Sant Kabir, and one of the famous couplets which I learned in school, was Dukh mein sumir na sab karay, Sukh mein karay na koye. Jo sukh mein sumir na karay, to dukh kaay hoye. Which means, during trouble, all the people remember God. But during peace and happiness, no one remembers God. The person who remembers God in times of peace and happiness, why should trouble touch him? This is the same thing which is mentioned in the Quran, in Surah Az-Zumur. Chapter 39, verse number 8. The Almighty God says, When trouble touches man, he prays to Almighty God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when Almighty God bestows his favors on him, he forgets that he had prayed to Almighty God. And he associates partners with him. So if we read the Guru Granth Sahib and the six scriptures, you should understand the concept of God in Sikhism.